All right, all right, give me the screen. Give me a big screen. Let me talk about bring up this first topic. Give me the big screen. Let me see. What's the hey Tam, what's going on? That's Candace. Candace, you gonna start the topics. Right, right. <laughs> Unemployment and job numbers. So I just want to give y'all a real quick report on what's happening in out in, in jobs and unemployment. As of August 2020, and I'm going somewhere with this. We supposedly gained 1.3 million jobs compared to 1.7 in July. So didn't quite do what they did uh, last month, but 1.3 million jobs, I guess, is a lot of jobs, most would say. Unemployment is down to 8.4%. It was at 10.2% last month. So it looked like it's gotten better. Bring everybody back real quick. Next time, we'll just keep them smile. I want to see their reaction. But bring everybody back. So with that being said, it looks like from the trends that things are getting a little bit better as we progress throughout the year. How do you guys feel like this is going to impact the election? Do you feel like if it continues to get better, that it's going to tilt to Trump's side? Brent, what, what are your thoughts on that? Um, if you want me to be candid, have, has anybody ever seen Donald Trump's tax returns? <laughs> no. Okay, right. So the reason why, if you see Donald Trump tax returns, then you'll understand how he's getting all these numbers, the way he's getting them. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he, he's doing some finagling, right? So, I mean, it, it's, it, it's, yeah, right. it's just manipulation. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And at, at the end of the day, I, I think, I mean, my man been crunching numbers and, you know, it's like Trump let down the window and just letting paper fly and just, you know, <laughs> call it like you see it. <laughs> so I, I think, I mean, he's, he's probably more clever than uh, Peter Pan, right? <laughs> he's just used his imagination and just throw a little, sprinkle a little of that fairy dust, man, and that's how he come up with these numbers, bro. He just, he got people doing his bidding, man, and I, I just think we, we got to, I, kn- I know we got to stay woke, but we got to be on the same time zone because so right now. See. So you think the numbers are fabricated? You don't think they're accurate numbers? Anybody else want to chime in on that? He, I'll I'll say this. He's a businessman. He runs this country as if it's a true business, and so it's very easy. You know, we all can go into the corporate world, go into the boardroom, and they're able to manipulate things. Look at Enron. <laughs> that was a situation right. that was completely manipulated. So I'm not surprised. But that's all I have to say on that. <laughs> mm, so that's there's one thing to be manipulative, and there's another thing to to embellish, and basically he's embellishing on a whole lot of things because based on the records that I've read, uh, the unemployment rate is worse than it was during the Great Depression. I wasn't there in 29, but if they're worse than that, somebody's going to be selling apples on the curb. Mm. Always, I mean, always I mean to be a, Go ahead, Bruno. I just want to say this. To be honest, man, I'm looking at my own community, my own neighborhood, like our local bank that used to be in our HEB, gone, right? Mm. I got stores closed down, man. So right. I got buildings that were going up that's not going up any longer right now. So it's just like, I mean, bro, you can say whatever you want to, man. I mean, I think he's smoother than Alfred Hitchcock, to be honest with you, brother. We're in the twilight zone. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. Can I also just say, um, you know, that doesn't take into account the quality of the job or the wage. So you have people who have lost their jobs where they're making a significant amount of money and they might be picking up two jobs just to maintain the lifestyle that they've had, right? So that doesn't even take into account what is the job that you have. Um, Another thing, I mean, me personally, um, I work with the public and I work for a company that is public facing And we were on furlough for three months. So, of course, the unemployment rate is going to decrease because you got called off a furlough and you're no longer receiving unemployment. So, I mean, you know, yeah, those numbers, those are raw numbers. But, I mean, what does that mean? You know, where it's not like people are picking up jobs that are actually paying for their lifestyle. Um, I'm a hiring manager um, in my job. And... You know, the applications that I've seen come through, people are completely overqualified for the job that they're applying for. So, I mean, 
you know, what, what really does that mean that unemployment is, is down? What does that mean? And they're saying that 25% of those jobs are uh, census jobs that are going to be going away in a month or so. So, mm-hmm. <laughs> right. See? So, that's why. Like- listen. Go I was ahead, gonna man. say that's like when I worked at um ATI. I'm gonna shout I'm gonna shout the school out, but they got in trouble because of their career services numbers. They were supposed to maintain a 75 percent placement rate. They mm-hmm. were lying, fluffing the numbers, giving people jobs for a day, and reporting that as someone having a job. It was at a um at a garage. So he uh-huh. he's taking. I, I definitely feel like he's just taking. Numbers manipulating things, and like she's like you said, Courtney, the way he it's it's padded and, and fluffed out. I'll just say in that a, <laughs> in another life. I'm gonna tell y'all if Donald Trump was on uh, the movie Back to the Future 2, uh, I think Donald Trump would be uh <laughs> giving out uh them check stuff so y'all can get y'all tax returns a little, a little tighter, get that new job. <laughs> Trump just a hustler, man. He be working at the check cashing company, man, just hooking brothers up left and right, man. Just, are we, are we just, better yeah. off? Are we better off financially now? The black community, are we better off now no. than we were no. eight years ago, even four no. years ago? It, I mean, it doesn't, when you look at it in the economy for us with every president, we, it's Chris. pretty much the same. So, And I was curious about the black unemployment rate. You know, they always talk about, and I always harped on it because I hear it and see it some places that the unemployment for black folks has hit record lows with Trump. And I figured I wanted to take a deeper look into it. Can we bring that up for Miss Producer? I want to take a look at it. And I gotta, I gotta eat my words real quick because I, I mean, but how, it has hit record lows. Where is it? Oh, it. How much better has he been since the, you know, Clinton? Well, now, while it has hit record lows, take a look. So the record low, I can't see because Chris commented up here. I can't see. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, all right, there we go. Thank you. <laughs> all right, so the record low, I'm assuming, was that 5.8 in February of 2020. I'm mm-hmm. assuming that, nope, nope, nope. It was actually maybe 5.4 August of last year. And I think that's the lowest on this chart. So it did hit record lows. However, I do see that in 2017, 2018, it, it was trending down. So I got to apologize to Ricky because I've always caught him on that. And I do see that when Obama was in office in 2010, it was 16, 15, 13. We were in the worst economy since the Great Depression. So I do see how he did bring that down and how Trump has managed to continue to trend until COVID came. We can take it off. So he basically capitalized off of Obama's numbers. It's mm-hmm. just a trend. <laughs> so, so. I mean, it's all a cycle, though. Like like I said, when mm-hmm. Clinton was in office, I mean, we was rocking then. You know what I'm saying? But then, come to find out, we was getting put in jail, too. But like I, like I said before, I talked to a Republican who said Clinton was uh, good because of Reaganomics. That's why we were benefiting because of Re- Reaganomics, not Clinton. Hey. So it's funny that everybody talks about the past president, but yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. yeah but Donald so, Trump is he's basically cutting and pasting. He's taking yeah. President right. Obama's numbers and pasting them to a grid, and he's probably taking off a point or two just so it looks like something is being done different. <laughs> Fuck this.